Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to share what we wish we knew before we started van life. Hopefully it helps. So just before we start on this, we want to make it very clear that we're not complaining about van life in any way, shape or form. We're just trying to share some tips that we didn't know about before we started. Number one, you won't have as much free time as you think you will. Before we started van life, you know, we were planning to read and do yoga and play ukulele and wake up at sunrise and sunsets with photos. And in reality, most of the time is spent just going around finding car spaces, doing shopping and doing regular life bits. Also, Creating YouTube videos and editing the videos takes up a lot more time than we thought it would, but we love it anyway. Two, I did not know how hard it would be to get our workouts in during the week. This is mostly because we're parked up in public places. We do try and find as much nature spots as we can, but a lot of the time we're resulted in parking in public and I don't fancy taking my dumbbells out the back of the van and doing a full workout in front of a lot of people. I'm not there just yet. So we kind of already touched on it, but number three is some days can actually be pretty boring in van life. We think it's gonna be all the hikes and amazing scenery that you see on Instagram, but in reality, a lot of it is spent just editing videos and just sitting around the van, just like you would at home. <laughs> number four, I wish I knew how tricky it would be to find somewhere to empty your toilet in Ireland. Now this is in Ireland specific, in Spain, there's places everywhere you can empty your toilet. However, in Ireland, we really did have to try and find somewhere to empty our toilet. However, we were lucky that we don't have a cassette toilet. We'll touch in on our toilet in another video. Number five, we didn't know how stressful the driving of the actual van would be. The first day we got to Spain, we, we ended up in a campsite and ended up in a snowstorm. Couldn't drive out of the campsite, it was crazy. You've probably seen that video already. We also wish we had a newer van. So one with all the bells and whistles like air conditioning and cruise control that would have made all the driving just a little bit easier. Number six. I wish I knew how hard it was going to be to find a shower in Ireland. So we do have a pop-up cubicle which we can shower outside of the van. However, that's okay in the warmer days in the summer, but in the winter, you end up not showering for maybe two or three days. Now you can have a strip wash in a sink and with a, uh, with a face cloth, but showers aren't everywhere. I really thought it would be a lot easier in gyms and in marinas, but we didn't find it that easy. And just because we didn't shower didn't mean we weren't being clean. No, we still have baby wipes for emergency showers. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called a van life bath. Yeah. Number seven, even though we packed light, we actually brought way too many clothes. We found that we actually wear the same couple of clothes and we probably could have reduced the amount by half. Yeah. Same pair of shorts, same t-shirt, same pair of leggings. I haven't even opened 80% of the clothes that I brought so far. Number eight, and it's probably the biggest thing that most people realize when they start van life. And van life in reality is not hashtag van life. It's not all the Instagram pictures that you see with people with their bums hanging out and just in nature spots living their best life. That's not real life and just like Instagram, it's only the highlights of the real. We have had amazing time in van life and we love it, but it's not always like that. We're normally in our pajamas just sipping coffee in the back of a van, not on the edge of a cliff with our hands out. <laughs> Living our best life. <laughs> Living our best life. <laughs> Number nine. We wish we knew how much the weather was going to affect our van life trip. For example, the wind. The wind and the rain, especially in Ireland, just stops you getting a great night's sleep. We really didn't think it was going to be as bad as it actually was, particularly in the Wild Atlantic Way, but just, just something to bear in mind on your trip. It will affect you, trust me. I know you've probably heard us go on about the wind so <laughs> much, but we can't, <laughs> we can't say it enough. Yeah. The wind can be crazy in a van. Just to go along with the topic sleep, it can be really tricky and hard to sleep sometimes in nature. You hear the weirdest and strangest noises ever when you're trying to sleep in a van, especially at the start. You don't know, is it animals? Is it people coming around? What's gonna happen? And your mind plays crazy tricks on you. Top tip, bring some earplugs. One earplug is plenty for me. Yeah, only half the terror. Dean wears two. He doesn't care if we get robbed or not. I have to protect us both. 
Number 11, warning lights coming up on your dashboard. Wow, we panic every time a warning light comes up on the dashboard. We have to Google them. Some of them we've never seen in our lives. And we're like, oh no, is the van broken? What are we going to do? And we panic because that's what we're like. We just panic. It's like the equivalent when you're sick and you check your symptoms and all of a sudden, you know, you had a cold and you're really, really sick. We check the van's symptoms on the dashboard and all of a sudden it's like, oh no, we need a new engine. Oh, it's gonna cost us four yeah. grand for this light. It can be crazy. Yeah. Have you got any top tips that you wish you knew before you start a van life? Please comment below and let us know. Knowing all this extra information, do we regret going in van life? Absolutely not. Van life is incredible. We love it. As I said, this video may sound like we're complaining about van life, but we're just trying to give you all the information that we wish we knew before we started. We are so lucky and fortunate to be able to live van life and are really enjoying the experience. Some of the main reasons we love van life are, we have complete freedom of our time and can do exactly what we want when we want. We get to experience everything together. Every sunset, every sunrise. Every coffee. Every coffee. Every just new experience, bad experience. We get to experience this together and we'll have these memories for the rest of our lives. Ah. Thank like you. So cute. As you know, we only grow outside of our comfort zone and this catapults us out of our comfort zone. So we're learning every day. We are constantly learning new things, whether that be a few couple of Spanish words or whether that be how to make sure that the oil is okay in our van or how to fix diesel heaters when they break down, anything like that. We're learning ourselves, which is great. We're just so lucky and grateful to be able to live this van life experience right now. So that's the end of the video, guys. We really hope you liked it. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share the video and consider subscribing to our channel. So thanks again, and we'll see you in next video. Bye. <laughs> Number nine. We wish we knew how much the weather was going to affect our trip. What am I trying to say? No. Number nine. Yeah, I was not. Number nine. Jeez. Oh, Three, two, one. But I only sleep with one earplug in because just so I can hear if anybody's trying to break into the van. Well, and it's a really great opportunity to step out and just, you know. Hmm. Should I say bye? Bye. <laughs> what do you mean? Bye. You would do bye too. Bye. bye. A little bit more, Gusto. Bye. <laughs> I right, made him. Oh, made him go off. No, that was okay. Fifty percent goes down. Bye. No. Bye.